Is being your best self worth it? The best version of yourself. Our, when Richard Cooper and Greg Adams did had a little back and forth. Um, Richard Cooper said, not only said it, but he tweeted it a lot. Do the work. Do the work. Do the work. And he said a lot of other stuff with it. But it's all about getting women. And it had me thinking, is that worth it for everybody? Now, when I ask the question, I don't mean that it definitely isn't. It's, no, I ask that question as with, with open responses, open to whatever you have to say. Because I don't think it is worth it for every guy. But I don't think it's not worth it for every guy also. Um, reason being, obviously it's work, otherwise he wouldn't say do the work, so that part is explanatory. But everybody's best version of themselves isn't equal. So if the best version of yourself is like bottom 10%, why the fuck would you care? In regards to women. Now, whatever you want to do for yourself is what you do for yourself. I mean, that's it's not debatable. But when it comes to doing it for women, what is it worth it? Why? At what point does it stop? Obviously, if you're in the top 10%, it's definitely worth it. You're getting all the hopes. All. All. But once you start creeping down to the bottom 40, bottom 50, you get them. But are the of quality it would be a good question. Let's think, let's think about the areas in which I should have wrote these down. But let's think about the areas in which you have to be the best version of yourself. I have no fucking paper. But Shit. You have finances, which obviously means you, you probably at the very minimum are going to like, what is it, what, trade school, which is something you should do for yourself, honestly. So that, I guess that would be. A yes in that area. Um, physically, how many dudes really give a fuck about what they look like outside of women? And that's a tricky. That's a tricky question because I want to lose weight, but not because of women, but still because biologically. I know what I should or could look like as opposed to what I do. But that's directly linked to wanting to be attractive. So it's a really difficult thing to say, you know, do you do it for women or not? Because technically you do. That's why you care, but it's not why I care if that makes sense. So I'm going to, I still put that on the irrelevant, but you would have to do that, obviously, in regard in regards to women. Personality. Now, when you get the personality, it's, it, 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 it gets tricky. Oh, well, not tricky, it's complicated. Because there's so much to the personality that you have to be good at to be the best version of yourself. You have to be witty. You'd have to be funny, which goes into witty. You'd have to be assertive. Uh, you have to be charming. A tad bit 
they, they say confident, but you really have to be a tad bit arrogant. Uh, it's another one. I forget. It's the only one I'm missing, but you would have to do all of that. Which means you have to call people like Richard Cooper to get an understanding of where to start. Because most dudes, especially all, all these dudes growing up without a father, probably don't have a clue how to be all of that if you, were, if you weren't already born with it. Um, masculinity, which is, I believe it's more than just being aggressive and assertive. But you have to be that to like the T. And do you do this? Do you take classes, coaching calls, life calls for women? We're talking hours. You see how much these people cost? 50, 100, $150 an hour. Just to tell you what you're doing wrong. Is that worth it? We are already are bitching about dates are we paying hundreds thousands of dollars to talk to Richard Cooper and whoever the hell else is doing this to have an idea of well not have an idea you have to master it because you're the best version of you that's thousands of dollars on the phone that's hours 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 in the gym that's working on getting a skill to make money only to spend it on hours of coaching calls I'm not gonna call it the gym membership because I personally recommend you have it anyway but then more money for other people like I'll use myself as an example I obviously am not the best version of myself, but not only do I not need to be, it's, I guess it's more to describe it as like a, you're at ease to be content. Um. A guy can make decisions not based on sh being stressed. Um, example. I had a job before the job that I have now, but I came back and left at, at the very minimum ten grand on the table. I think I told the story before, and I can make that decision. Because I'm not thinking about anybody outside of myself. Now, obviously, that decision means I'm not the best version of me because it's 10 grand less. But it does, it is easier on my mind. Because I don't have to be uncomfortable and put in work that I don't want to. And I'm not saying that's like some hua type ordeal, but there is a trade-off. Obviously, less money, less women, but less headaches too. So, I don't, I don't know. And like. In the description, in the comment section, is it worth it? Maybe give your story. Is it worth it to be the best you for someone else? Or should you be the best you for you? Or should you be content with you? Or are you content with you? Or do you want to be the best version of you for whatever reason? I think I'm done.